Hello Taurus. This is your love reading from July 1st to the 15th, 2020. Welcome to the channel. Thank you very much, all of you, for liking, sharing, and subscribing. It's been a wonderful journey. I'm quite touched by every single one of you. It's been a wonderful journey. So for those of you who are new, welcome to the channel. So, I will be doing a love reading for you, and I'll be looking into the feelings of the person that you're connecting with on a romantic level, the person that you want to be connecting with on a romantic level, and um, then I'll be looking at the actions as well as some advice. Okay, let's have a look here. I have the Goddess Oracle deck by Amy Sophia Marashinsky. Just going to do a quick prayer on these. Okay. Okay, my last reading just had this too. Feelings and emotions. Hmm, crossroads, okay. Yikes. Betrayal. Sexuality. Illness and wellness. Oh my goodness, guys. Crisis. Crap. All right, ecstasy. Pulling out an extra card here because I saw it pop up. Under the bottom of the deck is beauty. All right, guys, so this seems you guys are going through some rough times here, and this may not resonate for everyone. So if it does not, just understand at this time, this is not meant for you. All right. This is what this other person is feeling for you, Taurus. You have feelings and emotions, crossroads, betrayal, sexuality, illness and wellness, crisis, ecstasy, victim, and pleasure. All right. My dear Taurus, the connection between us has produced an overflow of emotions and feelings for you. There is so much that I feel now. When you're happy, I'm happy, and when you're sad, I'm sad. And I feel as if you light a torch when it's dark for me. I would do a lot for you, but at this point in time, I'm at a crossroads. I am in the middle of making a decision, a very important decision that can mean either you and I are together or we go our separate ways. And I know that between us, there has been lack of trust. There is doubt and there's also betrayal. And I'm sorry if I have made you feel as if I've used you sexually. I know that I 
you've lost faith in me and I'm sorry because of what has happened I myself am feeling sick I can't believe what has happened I can't believe what I've done I stooped so low I went so low you have that power to make me sick and you have that power to make me well I right now there's a lot of mental anguish I am very much overwhelmed so overwhelmed with all that has happened between the both of us and in my heart and in my mind there's so much about you that I feel divinely content my spirit itself feels happy knowing that you're out there but what I did to you I made you feel like a victim you were the victim of my desires and all I did was take pleasure why because I feel you are such a beautiful person you are so handsome you are so beautiful can't take my eyes off you and that's all I was thinking of it's only now Taurus that I'm starting to feel these emotions after all the things I put you through I'm realizing now that I do have feelings for you something happened between us and my affection towards you had changed a while ago but now I feel much more emotions and I don't want to have things the way they were I have come to the realization that you are a very beautiful person on the inside and the outside and I just feel very overwhelmed right now about the situation I cannot move on I'm stuck I'm literally stuck I'm not able to move on because I don't know how to move on how to make things better I don't know how to do this but one thing I know is that I have to make a choice now because I do have feelings for you okay Taurus there were a lot of negative cards here but this is what life is guys as bad as it sounds we have to sometimes go through bad things I would like to say a bad word but I won't we have to go through a lot of crap right in order to get to that end goal in order to become wiser and it's unfortunate but in your in your situation um, it seems as if this was supposed to happen it's not good I see someone taking advantage of somebody I see that and that's very wrong and the thing is this person's not regretting it yet but what's happening is that they're coming to that realization that they're literally stuck now because they want you but they also don't know how to say sorry is it too late to say sorry is sorry even enough what they did to you this is how they're feeling Taurus and take it how it resonates it might not be for everyone okay five of cups this is the intention the plans that this person might have the actions that they might want to take um, it could simply be an intention as of right now especially since they themselves are not making a move it does not seem as if they're making a move and the reason they're not making a move it's because they feel overwhelmed right now this one I'm gonna take out one more for clarity because two have popped out already all right yep there you go ah <laughs> Empress all right okay things are going to get better guys let's everybody calm down all right let's breathe everyone <laughs> okay Taurus this person 
is crying over spilled milk. They truly will realize that they are in the wrong. They have made a mistake. They are grieving and they are regretful over what has happened. They are very upset over what's happened. And the problem is there's going to come a time when they won't be able to leave that guilt behind. They won't be able to um, get out of that mindset. It's going to haunt them what they did to you. Eventually they're going to see that you are a person that they want to be with. Um, the Queen of Pentacles. So Five of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, King of Wands, Four of Wands, Empress, and the Temperance. Sorry, I didn't mention that before. Okay. So they're going to realize that you are very nurturing. You are um, somebody that can take care of someone. There's a lot of prosperity. There's even financial stability with you. But overall, they feel that you're an extremely nurturing person and they like being um, taken care of in that way. Now this person also, now this is just for a few of you. Some of you might be already in a relationship and this person is starting to feel the urge of telling you that they want to be with you. This person's falling in love with someone who is committed somewhere else. This message is just for maybe a handful of you. However, the main message here is this person has definitely got the hots for you. They are head over heels for you. They really want to be with you. And then they feel some type of a connection with you, a spiritual bond where they want to be with you. There's two cards here that indicate that to me. Then you have the Empress card. So this person does feel that you are the type of individual who they can settle down with. Um, someone who looks into the far future, long-term goals. Someone who is a good provider, caring, nurturing. Somebody who wants to keep someone safe. And somebody who is very graceful. They find you very graceful, very tactful. You don't, you think long and hard before you make a decision. And this person really likes that about you. Tempress is under the bottom of the deck. This person realizes that they have created an imbalance in the situation between the both of you in this relationship and they want to fix that. They want to make a balance. They will eventually do this. But as of right now, as a first card, this is what they really are focusing on, on what they have done to you and they're not focusing on what they can do in the future, wanting to make a balance and fix things between the both of you. But what's good here, Taurus, is that they have this intention. The intentions are good. They are pure, they're from the heart, and this person's going to come to the realization after a while that this is what they want. It's going to take some time, though, because regret and sorrow for anyone, um, it takes a long time for people to come around. This could literally be months. It could even be, you know, half a year, guys. Um... It truly depends on the individual and how strong and how vulnerable they are. What kind of situation they are in. Alright, I'm going to have a look at um, the Oracle Goddess, the Oracle Goddess, what am I saying? Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. These are Angel Answer Cards. <laughs> Sorry. Now, I'm going to have a look if you just provide any... Um, any type of okay so this message is brought to you by Archangel Michael Raphael and Gabriel Wow this is clear-cut forgiveness peaceful resolution you guys had a lot of um, negative cards and I do feel that the divine knows this they know what you guys are going through and heartache is never good so, something good is going to come out of this. Hang in there, guys. Perfect timing. No. Okay. This really wanted to come out. <laughs> okay. One more. Two came out. All right, sorry guys, I'm just gonna move this this way. 
one more came out, so I'm just going to pull that. Under the bottom of the deck is communicate clearly. Okay. Now this is very, very much targeted to this reading for sure. You have forgiveness, peaceful resolution, don't stop, if you believe, perfect timing, big happy changes, meditation brings answers, trust, and under the bottom of the deck you have communicate clearly. Now I'm going to read to you in a way so that it makes sense the message here from the angels to you. Taurus Forgiveness is key to the situation that is at hand right now. If there is no forgiveness nothing is going to move forward. There needs to be hearts that are going to be mended people who will be learning from their mistakes and not repeating them. This will only happen if forgiveness is given. And after that you will receive and be part of a peaceful resolution. So whatever it is your heart's desire, don't stop. Because if you believe in what you believe in right now, and if you're positive about it, everything will work out and there will be perfect timing for these, things, for these things to occur. Big happy changes are in store for you. Do meditate as these will bring answers. Concentrate on what has happened. Meditate and understand how you can fix the situation, how you can make it better, and how you yourself can heal. Don't worry about anything because all you have to do is trust in the divine and he, she is going to help you eventually. All you have to do is trust. Once you get a chance to talk to this individual or message this person, you will have to communicate very clearly. Let them know what it is that you're comfortable with and what you're not comfortable with. You set everything straight, use the opportunity and use it wisely. Make sure you communicate clearly. That's your message, Taurus. That is, for me, that is very precise. Usually I get tiny little words here and there, but these ones were very precise. It seems as if in the universe right now, a lot of people who are Taurus are not having such a grand time. The reading itself was very heavy. Alright guys, so I do hope you received some clarity onto the situation and um, you know get some guidance and use that as you see fit. Thank you once again for supporting the channel. It's so it's been a little overwhelming, but it's because I really did not even think I would be on YouTube. I'm still shocked <laughs> that I'm on YouTube. I'm still in that phase where, oh yeah, okay, I'm still here. Um, oh my gosh, it's just amazing though. I love reading the comments. I, I love everything about this uh, community. <laughs> All right, guys, you take care, stay safe, and I will see you um, in mid-July. Bye-bye now.